Okay, now for question number three from February, March 2019, paper four, variant two. Here we have a question where we are asked um, to deal with a probability. Shushila, Ravi and Taliki each have a bag of balls. Each of the bags contains 10 red balls and eight blue balls. Okay, so the total number of blue balls altogether is 18. All right, Shushila takes one ball at random from her bag. Find the probability that she takes a red ball. So there's 10 red balls out of 18 altogether. So that's five out of nine, okay? Simple as that. Express it as a fraction is probably best here. Part B, Ravi takes two balls <clears throat> at random from his bag. Now he also has the same number, so 10 reds, and he has eight blues, and he has 18 altogether. All right. Now, <clears throat> this time without replacement. So he takes two balls. He takes one, doesn't replace it, then takes another. Find the probability that one ball is red and one is blue. Okay, there's two different <clears throat> outcomes that will fit this. Okay, we don't need to really draw a tree, although some people would prefer to. So I'll just show you how that will give us the different outcomes. You've got a red or a blue for the first pick, and then a red and a blue for the second pick. Okay, and the cases we're looking at is this outcome, a red and a blue, and then a blue and a red. These two outcomes are the ones where they, one of them is red and the other one is blue. It doesn't mean in that order, it could be in any order. It doesn't say the first is red and the second is blue. It says one is red and one is blue. So it could either be the first is red and the second is blue, or the first is blue and the second is red. So we've got to combine these two separate outcomes together. Now to find an outcome, we have to multiply along to get it. So we've got to find the probability of picking a red and then a blue, and we've got to add to it the probability of picking a blue and then a red. Those two probabilities have to be decided. So now, he has 10 red balls out of 18 altogether. Okay, so the probability of picking a red first is going to be 10 out of 18. And for the second pick, okay, there's still eight blue balls um, left in the bag because he's picked a red ball in this scenario that we're looking at. So it's eight blue balls, but there's one less ball altogether because he's picked a red. So there's only 18 balls left and he did not put it back in the bag. So there's only 17 balls now, right? So he's picked a red from the 18 and he didn't put it back. So now there's 17 balls. And the other probability is that he picked a blue first and then a red. So the blue first means he picked the probability of picking a blue first is 8 out of 10, uh, out of 18, sorry. Because there's 8 blue balls and 18 balls altogether. Now, you always multiply when you're going along the branch. Okay, so it's 8 over 18 times. Now, this if he's picked a blue first, there's still 10 reds in the bag. Okay, so that, that means you've got 10 out of, but he picked a blue and he didn't replace it. So there's 17 balls left. So these are the two separate outcomes that we're considering. One of the first one is a red first and then a blue and the second one is a blue first and then a red what you'll notice it's just both of these will give you the same value so this is like 80 10 times 8 over 18 times 17 and this is 8 times 10 over 18 times 17 so you get the same value so you can just take one of them and multiply by 2 so 2 over 2 times 8 over 18 times 10 over 17 and you can find what that is and write down your answer so you have 2, you can just write it exactly as it looks here, 8 over 18, and then we have to multiply 10 over 17. Okay, and that gives you 8 over 18 plus 10 over 17 times 2. Okay, that's 80 over 153. 80 divided by 153. Okay, so that's 10 over 18 times 9 over 17. No, times 8 over 17, yes. Plus 8 over 18 plus 10 over 17. That's fine. Okay, now, the next question says, Talika takes three balls at random from her bag, again without replacement. So she's got 18 altogether, of which 10 are red and 8 are blue, same as the others. So 10 altogether and 10 of them are red and 8 of them are blue. Now this time she's taking three, three balls. She's taking a pick and she's not putting it back in. 
taking another pick, not putting it back in, and taking a third pick. Okay, so we've got to find the probability that the three balls are the same color. Okay, that they're the same color. So either they're all reds, either they're all reds, red, red, red. Okay, or, so you have to add the probability of them being all blues. Those are the two ways of getting the balls being the same color, all of them are the same color, all three of them. So the probability of picking a red is 10 out of 18. The probability of picking a red as for a second pick, after you picked a red for the first pick and didn't replace it, well, there's one less of each of them, so that's 9 over 17. And again, the probability of picking an, a, a third red after picking the first two reds, well, there's two less reds in there, so it would be 8 out of 2 less altogether, 16. All right, and you've got to add the outcome. That's the probability of getting all three of them red. The other outcome which fits is that they're all blue. So you've got eight blues out of 18. For the second pick, one less of eight times, sorry, times, always times, times seven blues over 17, times six blues over 16. Okay, so when you're finding an outcome, you multiply, and you, when combining outcomes, you add, okay? So that should give us our answer. We could just stick down the calculator if you wish. Okay, or you could simplify first if you wish. Why is it not moving? Okay. Now, so we have here 10 over 18 time. Oops. What happened? What's going on there? We have. 10 over 18 multiplied by 9 over 17 multiplied by 8 over 16 okay close the bracket and you got plus then you have 8 over 18 plus 7 over 17 oops sorry plus 7 over 17 and plus 6 over 16 so this is times here yeah? sorry about that I'm just putting the wrong thing that should be a times you find the outcomes you multiply be careful not to make silly mistakes like that okay times 6 over 16 It's always good to check in case you made a silly mistake. So if we go back, you can check everything carefully. 10 over 18 times 9 over 17 times 8 over 16 plus you've got 8 over 18 times 7 over 17 times 8 over, times 6 over 16. Okay. Equals 11 over 51. Okay, so answer is 11 over 51. And there we have the answer to number three, part A, B, and C. Okay? All right, so thank you for watching.